We return to the Patinoir posted in Grenoble for the ice dance event following what was a very exciting women's free skate. An inspired performance by Wakaba Higuchi from Japan with her triple axel.
fueled the way for some other brilliant skates from the Russians. And we saw Anna Sherbakova, the world champion, win here in her second Grand Prix assignment. But it will be the French who are likely to be triumphant in the ice dance category. Gabriela Papadakis and Guillaume Cesaron lead after the rhythm dance, and they are the heavy, heavy favourites to win again here. They'll be eager to lay down another stunning free dance to secure the expectation that they will become Olympic champions in February. We kindly remind you that taking pictures with flash and video recording is forbidden. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, gifts and flowers are not allowed at any time. And the French fans, so excited to see live skating. The International de France was canceled in 2020. So it's two years since the world's best descended upon the Patinoir Pole Sud in Grenoble. For now, we meet the technical panel and the judges officiating the event. The officials representing the International Skating Union and the panel of judges for this event. The ISU event referee is Mr. Sean Redstat. Juge numéro 1. Juge number 1, Miss Francesca Minio, Italy. Juge numéro 2. Juge number 2, Miss So Young An, Republic of Korea. Juge numéro 3. Juge number 3, Mr. David Molina, France. Juge numéro 4. Judge number four, Mr. Christian Bowman, Germany. Judge number five. Judge number five, Miss Linda Lever, United States of America. Judge number six. Judge number six, Mr. Igor Dolgushin, Russia. Judge number seven. Third number seven, Miss Tane Osgan Silaolu, Turkey. Juge numéro 8. Third number eight, Miss Nicole Leblanc Richard, Canada. Juge numéro 9. Third number nine, Miss Leomote Krausiene, Lithuania. Le contrôleur technique. The ISU technical controller is Ms. Christine Fürth. Le spécialiste technique ISU. The ISU technical specialist is Mr. Andres Dostati. L'assistant technique spécialiste ISU. The ISU assistant technical specialist is Ms. Candice Towergreen. And it's the same judging panel and technical panel who were judging the rhythm dance yesterday. As we see the Germans, Jennifer and Benjamin, getting prepared to take to the ice. They will lead this, the free dance. Benjamin had a frustrating and hard fall in their rhythm dance. Looking for a more enjoyable free dance here. So we to the young French team. The Mugé and the Mercier. <laughs> they are, I'm sure, inspired by our compatriots, Papadakis and Cicerone, who have revolutionized ice dance styles in the last Olympic cycle. And in green, Alison Reed, so eager to get the Lithuanian citizenship to secure her spot in the games. And the Germans in their first Senior Grand Prix event. Exciting times. The Olympic Games unlikely to be part of their future in 2022. So this is the pinnacle 
the competitive experience to date. From Germany, Jennifer Ons van Rensburg, Benjamin Stefan. From France, Loïca de Mougeau, Théo Lemercier. From Lithuania, Alison Rees, Solius Abrevalacious. From Finland, Julia Turkila, Matthias Berthlewis. From Russia, Annabelle Morozov, Andre Bagin. You have a five minute warm up. So Germany will start and Russia will finish this first group of five ice dance teams. And all of the couples have nine elements in their free dance. That will be the step sequences, which will be some of the most scrutinized, some of the hardest to get the higher levels on. But three choreographic elements bring opportunity for some real creative originality for the dancers. We saw so much originality throughout the street dance rhythm dance. Jennifer and Benjamin uh, and a completely free Germany. music choice for the dancers in this to free dance as Jennifer they and Benjamin warm up their one foot section. And recently finished first at the Igna Dance Trophy. From Germany, Jennifer on Vandenberg, Benjamin Stefan. Loïcia et Théo sont licenciés au club de villard de lens et de Belfort. Ils s'entraînent à villard de lens avec Karine Arnaud-Bernard, Lomissa... And a complete style departure from the hip-hop that they had in the rhythm dance. Louisa Desmogés and Théo Le Mercier choosing the very famous Ravel's Bolero, synonymous with British Olympic champions Torval and Dean. They finished second at last year's French Junior National Championship and sixth at the 2019 World Junior Championship and most recently at the third at the Trophy Metropole in Nice. From France, Loïcia de Mojot, Théo Le Mercier. And they warming up their synchronized twizzles to cheating home crowd. Alison and Solius are in Canada with Marie-France Dubreuil, Patrice Lozo and Romain Hagenauer. So Alison and Solius had that horrid fall in their rhythm dance, which is the reason behind them finding themselves here in eighth place. Their component scores, the skating skills and their rhythm dance, were the fourth best, which is an indication that had they not had that fall, they too... As is often the case in the dance. Warm up sort of treacherously dangerous place to be. Mistakes unfortunately occurred also for Turkila and Vestuis. They had issues with the twizzles. But to me, their free dance. It's quite beautiful and a real perfect match for the elegance that this team has. We'll be skating to bruises by Luis Capaldi, but it'll be Shekharizad for Morozov and Bagan. They were fifth in Skate America. Annabelle and Andre train in Moscow with Nikolai Morozov and Aniskel Gorshkov. And an excellent match in synchronicity through sequential twizzles. Sorry, the synchronized twizzles in the free dance. Oh, 
be very eager to score big here. There's a sign to the Russian Federation that they have the potential to be on the Olympic team. with the Lithuanian flag and it's Lithuania who needs to accept Alison Reed and give her citizenship to secure her spot at the Olympic Games. They were qualified to go based on their 15th place result at World Championships, awaiting the passport. Alison finally competed for Georgia as well, but born in the States. Such as the diversity of skating and ice dance partnerships, so challenging to find a partner that has the same ambition. Thank you. And many of the dance teams, formations of different skating nations. As Jennifer and Benjamin prepare to start the free dance here in Grenoble. On the ice from Germany, Jennifer on Benjamin Benjamin Stefan. And the James Bond theme for their free dance. This is the first of their elements, the one foot step sequence, or different difficult turns. So there's a connection at the start. Lovely difficult entry into their combination spin. Using the change of direction as one of their features for level four.
novel choice to put together a straight line and a curve lift. Wonderful to see Jennifer and Benjamin recovering from the disappointment in the rhythm dance and skating cleanly here in the free dance. First senior Grand Prix for them, a huge occasion and opportunity. And perhaps it was that pressure that led to the fall for Benjamin within the midline steps yesterday. I thought he was slightly more cautious at the start of the program and understandably so, they came out abundantly energetic to start the rhythm dance. Reining it in a little bit to guarantee a clean free dance here. And this couple, unlikely to have Olympic Games experience certainly in this coming season. Katharina Müller and Tim Dijk will be the likely representatives for Germany. They've already competed in the Italian Grand Prix in Torino as they're greeted by Rostislav Sinitsyn, who you could hear cheering them on, encouraging ever more energy and commitment during the performance. And as we will expect from the ice dancers, con expression and facial interpretation, particularly from the women in the team, The layback feature within the pairs combination spin. Technical panel observing all the elements and it's looking favorable. A level three diagonal step sequence awarded to Jennifer and Benjamin. Jennifer. That in itself, very impressive. And this straight line into curve. The teams can take three short lifts or combine two to make a combination as Germans did. It's a difficult exit from the rotational. And Jennifer and Benjamin competed at the Finlandia Trophy in Helsinki. And there they were up against Gabriela Papadakis and Guillaume Cizeron again. And I'm sure every opportunity to train with that caliber of skater is a big learning ground. Not their best. But I think they'll just be delighted to skate it cleanly here, particularly after the disappointment in the rhythm dance. Well done, Jennifer. Benjamin from Germany. The first of three French ice dance teams of the ten couples competing, and this the youngest. Lucia Demoget and Theo Le Mercier from France. and the features for the twizzles.
And a wobble having to reconnect and touch, losing the feature there in the rotational lift. Good use of the choreographic twizzling movement at the end of their bolero inspired free dance. And that in itself, testament to the lofty aspirations this team must have. Ravel's bolero, the music choice behind the 1984 Olympic champions in dance Torvald Dean. And it's been somewhat sacrosanct and untouched by many dancers. But kudos to De Moger and Le Mercier for having the bravery to use it and they used it well. Lots of tight musicality within their contemporary choreography choices. And that's surely a testament to their belief in their future potential and will they go on to continue in the tradition of so many brilliant French ice dance teams. Interesting to see how French ice dance will progress. For so many years, Lyon and coach Muriel bouchel sazoui was the creator of world medalists. And lastly, alongside Roman Ugenauer, but he has subsequently moved to Montreal and taken Papadakis and Cizeron with him. And now the creation of future brilliant French ice dance teams lies with others. Louis Chantillo, taught by Karine Aribert. She will be responsible for their progression up the international ranks. And they've done themselves proud here in their first senior Grand Prix, not showing any signs of hesitancy or holding back. Three back crossovers there you see consecutively done. That a bit of a rarity within the ice dance choreography. More intricacy used by some of the more experienced teams here too, some more side-by-side -side movement. So transitionally, there'll be more complex use of hold and step content from others, but nevertheless, at this stage in the development, a great debut on the Senior Grand Prix. And the music, well arranged by Hugo Schwinard. with their personal best coming from the World Junior Championships in 2020. That was 97.64. And a deduction for an extended lift, pulling their score down just that little bit. But on the whole, a really positive experience and debut 
On a spec stage le DMG Annie Mercier. So by far the most experienced team that we've seen three times they've competed at World Championships as a couple together. Aston Reid, Salus and Brulevicus from Lithuania. Ice coverage through the one foot step sequence. Nice transition through to the difficult feature. The one foot glide for Salius. Much better today in the free dance for the Lithuanians. Horrid fall for them on an outside Mohawk yesterday. 
in the rhythm dance. And I'm sure their participation here will be clouded by the worry about their potential Olympic participation. They've secured their spot by the International Skating Union, but they need the Lithuanian citizenship to facilitate that participation. And certainly their quality is more than worthy of being there. Interesting that they've used this year choreographically the input of Margarita Drobiasco and Povola Savanagas, the, the Lithuanian team who are world bronze medalists and real fan favorites as well. And Alison has competed for Georgia and Israel before. Like I said, it's so challenging for these teams to find the right match, both in terms of temperament and talent, physicality. This was wonderful. The spread eagle transition then into that one foot glide on their straight line lift. And that scoring the level four, which you would expect for these elite teams, but I'm sure it will have also had a big boost in the grade of execution. This, the original lift, Alison hitting that split position is her difficult feature. I like the things that you hate. The instrumental section of this free dance, White Lies, composed by Carl Hugo, and them using hate the things that Carl to create their own original piece within this free dance music. Level of commitment that the ice dancers are going to down to the green earrings to match the dress. Everything considered, musically, costume, thematic, everything trying to contribute towards higher world rankings. Thank you for everything, Roman Ugenhar, who we will see later on part of their coaching staff, as is the Ice Academy of Montreal. Ms. Elias is just thanked for all they do for them. Good score for the Lithuanians, not far behind their personal best from last year's World Championships. And they can come away from Grenoble now, playing much better than they did after the rhythm dance. Well done to Alison and Salius. On the ice from Finland, Julia Turkula Matthias vs. Lewis. So the Finnish team take to the ice. They too had mistakes in the rhythm dance. With struggling, Julia on the twizzles. But this free dance, very special. Station lift followed by the rotational lift to open the elements.
Graphic character step sequence. Cardio slide to finish. And it's a beautiful program. And beautiful skaters from Turkila and Versuis. One of just the most elegant teams on the ice. And this, the free dance, to me, so well suited to their style. And hopefully something that sees them climb the world rankings. They were 16th at World Championships in 2019, but they dropped last year. And this season started so brilliantly at the Nebelhorn Trophy where they won that event. A few wee mistakes creeping in as the season has progressed. They're greeted by Maurizio Margaglio, Italian champion. And they'll be eager to follow in the footsteps of famous Finnish ice dance team Rakamo and Coco, who were the first Finnish skaters to win Europeans back in 1995. And for me, it was the choreo character step sequence, the second to last element, which was a real highlight. See, particularly from Yulia, always extended through the neck. Both such strong skaters in their own right, having been at European World Championship level as single skaters. So, relatively young in ice dance education. So now both 27 years of age. It remains to be seen if they will continue for another Olympic cycle after this. And that, the choreographic slide. And the choreographic slide, like all of the choreographic elements, has a fixed base value of 1.1 points. It's the judge's interpretation decision on the grade of execution, which can really boost or detract from the element score. They posted 113.27 at the Finlandia Trophy in Helsinki, near to where they train with Maurizio. Yeah. 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 They seem satisfied with that and first place at this stage of the competition. Six more teams yet to skate. <laughs> On the ice from Russia, Annabel Morozov, Andrei Bagin. Tall and commanding team from Russia, skating to the powerful music Shehrazad for Annabel Morozov and Andrei Bagin.
love the originality in that stationary lift. Such drama as we're accustomed to seeing from Russian ice dance. They were reluctant to use this Scheherazade music in previous years for fear of the comparison between Merrill Davis and Charlie White, the American Olympic champions who used it in 2014. But I think it's a brilliant choice for this couple. Such a tall and dramatic, striking look they have on the ice, and that second to last element, the choreographic dance lift. Such a powerful finish for this, their free dance. And this team naturally want to finish as highly as possible here. But the biggest thing on their radar will undoubtedly be checking to see if they can become the third team to go to the Olympic Games for Russia. Sinitsina and Kitsalapov, the world champions, almost guaranteed their place, I imagine, health permitting. Stepanova and Bukin, who we will see yet to skate here, her line third after the rhythm dance, they likely to get the ticket as well. 
But third place with the injury to Zagorski and Guerrero, a little bit more up for debate. And there's an event happening in Poland at the moment with Terry Tupritz's daughter Diana Davis and Gleb Smolkin scoring some huge scores there too. So there are a few teams all eager for the same thing. And fascinatingly, all, the, not all, but the, so many of the Russian ice dance teams on the scene at the moment have influential and formerly successful competitive parents. As a case for Annabelle, whose father, Nikolai, we will see in the kiss and cry with them shortly as their coach. And he, an Olympian himself, with Tatiana Navka, more notably famed for his coaching success with other Russians. This, that choreographic dance lift towards the end of the program. And look at their facial commitment and the hyper extension on her fingers towards the end of their four minute free dance when inevitably they'll be burning with exhaustion. Imagine the anxiety for Nikolai watching his daughter compete and then the pride when it's finished. Great skate for the Russians. As they cling on, hoping for big scores here in the free dance from the judging panel and the tech officials. Finish lead with 106.4. That will be disappointing for the Russians. Frustrating times as they will look to reassess moving forward towards the Russian Championships next month. So high drama in the free dance already. The Russians cling on to their lead thanks to their big score or big air score in the rhythm dance. But now medals will be decided. And two French teams for the home crowd to enjoy as the group starts and ends with French ice dancers. From the United States of America, Christina Carrera, Anthony Ponomarenko. From Russia, Alexandra Stepanova, Ivan Bokin. From Canada, Piper Gillis, Paul Poirier. From France, Gabriela Papadakis, Guillaume Sidor. You have a five minute warm up. Gabriela and Guillaume, multiple time winners of the International de France. They now train in Montreal at what has been described appropriately as the epicenter for elite senior ice dancers. The ice Academy there. Kenya et Geoffrey sont licenciés au club de Lyon Place Patinage. Ils s'entraînent avec Roxane Petetin, Lopreva et Briso. They will be extremely pleased with the result, finding themselves in this top group, fifth place and ahead of much more experienced teams. Big success for the couple. They went on to represent France at the World Championships in the absence of Papadakis and Cezeron. Placing 17th there. Christina and Anthony s'entraînent avec Scott Moore and Patrice Lozon. Ils ont terminé quatrième du Challenger Senior. Anthony 
Ponomarenko will forever be tagged with the relationship to his Olympic champion parents. Klimova and Ponomarenko from the 92 Olympics here in France. Abouvel. And you can see them just having to step back and pave the way for the world champions. Papadakis and Cizeron, former world champions, Alexandra I should say, Papadakis and Cizeron, as all the couples vie for their precious ice space to run through their elements. No doubt the ice dance warm-up is the scariest one. As you can see from Stepanova and Buchan, constant changes of direction make it hard to predict where there's free space to take your place. Third at the 2019 mm. European Championship. And Ivan Buchan, he too will forever be connected Russia, to the success Sepanova, of his father, the 1988 Olympic champion. Andrei Buchan alongside Natalia Bestemanova. No famous parents <laughs> for Piper Gillis and Paul Poiré in regards to Olympic ice dance success. But Piper from a skating family. My brother competed successfully internationally and her sister was an American junior champion in singles. And their free dance. Incredibly emotive. This is the free dance choice for Papadakis and Cizeron in the third incarnation of the costumes for Guillaume. A different free dance outfit for him from their first event. Challenger see these events. The darlings of the French crowd. Five times European champion and four times and their biggest world goal will surely be Olympic games. gold France, to replicate the success of Marina Anasina and Gwenda Pesera from France. Who won in Salt Lake City in 2002. And there are so many teams on the world stage at present who are surely needing the end of their competitive careers. Gabriela and Guillaume have not definitively said if they will retire after Beijing or not. As they are watched by the president of the French Figure Skating Association and former French ice dance star herself, Nathalie Pechla, who won so many international medals with her partner Fabien Bilza. And interestingly, her partner Fabian Burza, responsible for some of the coaching of the team you see now. La Preva and Brissot use Fabian as part of their coaching staff. Passing on their expertise. And who knows what Papadakis and Cizeron will do beyond the competitive realm. The reigning Olympic champion Scott Moyer is here now as coach, so he's choosing to share his wisdom and knowledge with the next generation. He'll be working with Carrera and Ponomarenko, the second to compete after this warm up. On the ice from France, Yevgenia Lopareva, Geoffrey Brissot. So they had Snoop Dogg for their hip hop rhythm dance. Complete change in theme and style for this, the free dance for Lopareva and Brissot from France.
so much content and variation and movement throughout the free dance and a real testament to their performance capabilities. Be hip hop dancers in the rhythm dance and then come out here to the music by Carl Jenkins. Complete change overnight for Lopereva and Briso. And a really brilliant choreo step sequence. As I say, jam packed full of content. It'll be very interesting to see what happens for a team such as this, showing such potential here, leading towards the games. As we touched on yesterday, they won't be able to compete at the Olympics. Papadakis and Cesaron not competing at World Championships didn't open up opportunity for more representation from France at next year's ISU events. But there are bound to be multiple retirements after the games, as there always is at the end of an Olympic cycle. And will Evgenia and Jeffrey step up and fill some of those world top 10 spaces that will be created? Fundamentally solid and strong skating skills and using spin features that we saw already from Morozov and Bagan. All the couples looking for level four in the spin and in the lifts and in the twizzles. They have a huge array and choice of features that they can use. And this, the start of their choreo steps, trying to be as clear and visibly obvious as possible to the judging panel that they have interpretation. Judges rewarding the skaters with skating skills component score, transitional component score, performance and execution component, choreography and composition, and finally the interpretation. And those marks coming out of 10. We can expect to see 10s from Papadakis and Cizeron later as they received in the rhythm dance. Roxanne Petitin, their coach. And they will maintain their top five place, which is a brilliant result. Sixth at the Italian Grand Prix in Torino and fifth here in Grenoble for Lopereva and Brissot. On the ice from the United States of America, Christina Carrera, Anthony Ponomarenko. Another complete change in style. Two-time medalist at the Junior World Championships, Cristina Carrera and Anthony Ponomarenko from America. Again, same features being used by many of the dancers as they start with their combination spin.
the struggles coming out of the left. Choreographic spinning movement. Another strong performance from Carrera and Ponomarenko. Some slight stumbles, slight mismatch at sections. But this couple coming out strong after disappointment at Skate Canada in Vancouver. They'll be happy with fourth place being maintained if possible after the rhythm dance. And they said yesterday after the RD how much respect and appreciation and gratitude they have to have Olympic champion and the most decorated ice dancer in history, Scott Moyer, as their coach now, who along with Tessa Virtue won so many medals at Olympic Games. And it's just brilliant to see him here at rinkside investing so much energy into this team and they said that in training he gives as much energy as he ever did as a competitor toward, towards their success. And you can see and will see increasingly his influence. You can certainly see it in the costume choice for Anthony. Looks right out of the wardrobe of a Scott Meyer performance from before. And as we touched on yesterday, they've had challenges. Christina breaking her foot last year and then coaching change I'm sure they're going to settle and see the progress from that change they're working out of the Ice Academy of Montreal but a new centre in southwestern Ontario so many teams at the initial base for the Ice Academy of Montreal in Montreal itself now they're expanding out with Scott Moore as the head coach there I'm sure Scott will be desperately keen to really showcase his coaching talents with Carrera and Ponomaneco. And this was the choreographic spinning movement. A great entry and exit, as you see there now. So they had a 99.81 free dance score in Vancouver. Scott looks on, hands class for all, and they'll be delighted to then see a big seven point boost to that. 
fourth in the free dance. And second overall, so by three hundredths, they drop just behind Lopareva and Briso. On the ice from Russia, Alexandra Stepanova, Ivan Bukin. Stepanova and Bukin felt underprepared and lacking in confidence when they competed in Torino. They managed a bronze medal there. transition into their twizzles. Twizzles that they've used success for so many years as their choreographic twizzling movement in this free dance.
Music from Romeo and Juliet, always a favorite in the Olympic year, and moved to tears. Alexandra Stepanova. Totally within the performance for the Russian. And yesterday we talked about Ivan being the only partner for Alexandra throughout her whole ice dance career. And following the event, I saw some pictures from their earliest days on the ice. And you have to assume that this team has been groomed for Olympic success, particularly given the history of Ivan's father, the 1988 Olympic champion. And now as we head towards the Olympics, the likelihood of Olympic gold is likely to elude them, given the prominence of Papadakis and Cizeron and Sinitsina and Katsalapov. Question remains, will this couple continue towards 20 years of competing together and vie for Olympic title in 2026? And this looked a much more Comfortable skate than Torino. More free dance and mileage under their belt. This a highlight for me. The difficult transitional entry. Oh sorry, similar to that which they used on the straight line lift. And the judges, in terms of the creative execution, looking for smoother, effortless, unison through the element, body lines and pose of both partners aesthetically pleasing or in character. Certainly you can see the body line through Alexandra's foot extension, so very evident, almost pointed toes. Body line there right to the fingertips within this curve lift as well. And this their twizzing movement, like a traveling spin on the back inside edge, but they used that as one of their choreographic, and this, the straight line lift, that I mentioned, certainly creative and very, very difficult to boost the grade of execution for the judges. And that surely has to be high on the interpretation component score from the judges, given Alexandra's visible involvement in the performance. They had 120 at the last event, same here. Skating to the long and winding road. And that it has been for the Canadians, Piper Gillis and Paul Poirier. And en route, they achieved their first world medal together in March last year.
Just such brilliant storytellers, Piper Gillis and Paul Poirier from Canada. And they really do put every emotion into their performances. And take you really quite the journey with the expression. Last year's free dance to both sides now from Joni Mitchell was so incredibly moving. And this in a similar vein, as you can see the reaction to fans cheering them on. And they've used music by Govardo, who helped them with their Vincent piece in the 2019, 2018, 2019 season. And he's performed this long and winding road. And it must be such an incredibly difficult choice every year for the ice dance teams picking music for their free dance, wondering what's judge friendly and what will help them to achieve the success that they want. But this choice for Gillis and Poirier, not only is it judge friendly, but seems so pertinent to them. And they were understandably vocal about the frustrations of being stuck down in the sixth to eighth ranking in the world for so many years. And the very sad loss of Piper's mom as well. All of these factors, they've been together throughout. And it's that relationship between the team, which I think is so evident throughout the number. Their visual, their eye connection really enhances that storytelling ability that they have. One in their first Grand Prix in Skate Canada with 125.32. And to me, whatever the score here, just abject confirmation that they're in defensive medal contention at the Games. So many brilliant teams on the world stage at the moment, and Gillis and Poirier definitely right up there in the mix. Okay. Oh, no. Risk alive awaits the score. They seem satisfied, lower than their first event. But still, poignant that it's ahead of the Russians, Stepanova and Bukin. And Piper is delighted to acknowledge that that position yeah. secures him a place in Osaka, so Japan for the Grand Prix final. On the ice from France, Gabriela Papadakis, Guillaume Cizeron. And presumably the reason so many of these fans are here in the patinoire posted to cheer on the four-time world champions and the leaders after the rhythm dance, Gabriela Papadakis and Guillaume Cesaron. unparalleled skating skill already.
It's dig for Guillaume on the second twizzle. The simply stunning Papadakis and Cicerón. An uncharacteristic mistake from Guillaume within the twizzles, but that a fraction within four minutes of utterly divine skating. They really are the benchmark for quality skating skills epitomizing what judges would want to see. Such an incredible command of their blade and depth of edge. They are, to me, the best ice dancers that have ever been. And the only thing that they have not won is the Olympic Games. And they have been honest and vocal about it, that that is their goal. And they're not hiding back from saying that that's what they are fixated and focused upon. And their preparations started earlier than others because they didn't compete in Stockholm at the World Championships. And that extra bit of time only serving to enhance the intricacies of this free dance. They had a tango free dance prepared last year that they didn't use. And they wanted to have similar energy in part here and so many emotions within this. Energy by Gabriel Fauré. Here we'll see the slight stumble from Guillaume there, which will drop a level. And to me, the component scores are marked out of 10, and that as an element, if they were at the Olympic Games, would be quite crucial. They would have to have a drop level and a drop in the grade of execution. And interestingly, other teams we've seen getting high nines and tens in their component scores. To me, if others get high nines and tens, Papadakis and Cicerones should be getting 11s and 12s. 
the quality of their work just as I say in my opinion unparalleled and that no reflection on so many other incredible teams ice dance is abundant in epic ice dancers at the moment we've seen Hubble and Donahue Chuck and Bates Sinitsina Katsalapov so many wondrous ice dance teams all in other years I think befitting of Olympic glory but these two are something else indeed with long-term coach Roman Aguinar who has traveled across the world with them having taught them in France originally and then they all relocated together to Montreal Spear front, that amazing ice academy. So, a similar score to their first event, and three points ahead of Sinitsina Katsalapov's score from the NHK trophy last week. And I think I've lost count. Their fifth or sixth title here at the International de France. And all those brilliant ice dance teams that I mentioned will now go head-to-head -head at Osaka. One more event for Sinitsina Katsalapov. They'll compete at Rostelecom Cup next week, but likely that the first three place teams here will all be in Japan. And great to see so many personal bests and clean skates and redemption for Jennifer and Benjamin from Germany, who skated much better today in the free dance. It's been a fantastic event here in the free dance and we're only halfway through the proceedings and the second day of competition at the International de France. Join us after the resurface as we see the men take to the ice. See if Yuma Kagiyama from Japan can maintain his first position after the short program. Come back to me when you're gone. 